Apple has just revealed its new smart speaker, the HomePod Mini. I take a look at the main features. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome. Apple has just had its high speed press event. And whilst everybody seems to be excited about the new iPhone, the product I'm more excited about is the new HomePod Mini. So let's talk about it. Ever since Amazon released its first AI assistant back in 2014, it's steadily and remarkably grown a brand new market. And it's obvious that this would be something that Apple would want to get into. And so in 2018, they created the HomePod and this was a big luxurious smart speaker to be better than the Apple, sorry, than the Amazon Alexa in every way. It was bigger, it had better sound, it was truly high end. However, the sales, they didn't really take off. And the reason for this is because Apple had completely misjudged the point of what the, what the smart speaker should be. And what Amazon have quite cleverly done is they've created a very small, very affordable device. So what Apple has now done, it's gone back to the drawing board and it's revised its HomePod. And instead of making it a product that was over 300 pounds, over $300, it's now got this brand new product, the HomePod Mini, and it's going to cost just 99 pounds. Now, whilst that's more than the business rival's product, it is, for an Apple product, considerably cheap. It's really cheap. And it's um, not quite, you know, not quite a stocking filler price, but it's a very good price. So let's take a look at all the features. The Apple HomePod Mini, costs 99 pounds or 99 dollars it's eight and a half centimeters high and that's approximately three and a half inches tall it's a global shape a small little globe so it should rest quite easy in the background and the the texture of the outside is a mesh fabric and this is regarded as being more home-like than the original amazon alexas which were made of plastic and that gives them a cheaper look so the mesh makes it look uh, more high class maybe, but it's also something that you could put in the background and blend in with your furniture. And it comes in two colors, white and space gray. Now on the top of the mini, there is a backlit touch panel and this has got a couple of touch controls including volume and play and it's also got a graphic effect of the Siri animation which is the waveform sound in multiple different colors so it looks quite pretty if you're looking over it and inside the inside the HomePod mini what's powering it is the S5 chip now the S5 computer processor is what's found in the, the Apple Watch 5. And so it's not the most modern of their chips, but it, it's meant to be you know, enough to power this device. At the heart of the HomePod mini is Siri. Now Siri is there to be your personal butler, if you will, to answer your questions, to answer your requests. So for example, you could ask Siri to put a note in your calendar, to check your calendar, to set an alarm, to make an inquiry, to answer your random questions, which all sounds really great that you've got Siri there all the time. However, I've been using Siri since it was first released with the iPhone 4S and my experience with it is that really Siri is still quite ropey. Now it has definitely improved but in terms of comprehension or just understanding what I'm saying it doesn't work quite as well as Google or Alexa. But I am hoping that there are improvements in this area. Now, despite the HomePod Mini being a much more compact device, Apple is touting the audio quality. Just how good is it? We don't know because they haven't actually released the wattage of the device. But if it really is as good as they're saying, then it could provide sound that's the equivalent of external Bluetooth speakers. You know, the sort that you can attach to your iPhone or your Google phone and listen to the music whilst you're out in the garden. Now, inside powering the sound is the S5 chip. Now, this is used for computational audio. So what this is essentially is it analyzes the music that you're listening to and it finds the best way to project it so that you can hear it the best way that you want to. 
Additionally, there is 360 degree sound emanating from the device so that wherever you are in the room, you should be able to have sound projecting directly to you. Now, as a smart speaker, it can of course play music from a variety of music and podcast services, including Apple Music, Amazon Music, TuneIn, and a whole lot more. Now, what Apple haven't done is mention Spotify and currently they are in a legal battle together. This doesn't necessarily mean that Spotify isn't coming to the HomePod Mini. I'm actually uh, pretty sure that it should be coming. And Apple cleverly upselling, they are saying that if you have two of these devices, they will act automatically as a stereo pair so that you have more of a stereo sound surrounding you. Quite clever. Now inside the HomePod Mini is a free microphone array. This is free microphones laid out listening to you so that they can hear if you say the command phrase, Hey Siri. This is so you can pick your voice up wherever you are in the room. And there's another microphone on the inside pointing at the speaker. And this is so you can differentiate it from your voice so that it can hear you always whenever there is loud music playing. You can use it to control the smart home. Use your voice to control any accessories around the house. For example, heating, lighting, cameras, a doorbell, whatever you've got attached to your HomePod or to your home system. What I think is one of the most clever features of the device is that the HomePod Mini can actually recognize up to six voices. And the reason for this is that if it can recognize a voice, it can then deliver a personalized experience. So if, for example, mum asks for a, a piece of music to be played, then Siri will play a tune that it knows is from her favorites list, perhaps. Or if Steve asks to send a text message, the message will be sent from his specific phone account. Very clever. Another touted feature is Intercom, and this works like a walkie-talkie for the family. You can use the HomePod Mini to send a message and it will be sent to all the Apple devices in your family network, such as their Apple Watches, their AirPod, their, their Apple Watch, their iPad, their iPhone, if they're modern enough that is. And it's a good way of sending a quick message to communicate with everyone around. So the HomePod Mini will be available to pre-order on the 6th of November and it will release on the 16th of November. And this is in the UK, the USA, Canada, Australia, and some other territories. And it will come later in the year to, to China and Taiwan and Mexico as well. Now, Apple, when they first released the original HomePod, they completely misjudged the market and they made a product that was too high end and they didn't really understand what it should be. But now they've been back to the drawing board, they've made this new revised product and I think they've got a really much better idea on what it should be, and which is a small device that is at the heart of the home. Now, it is going to be one of Apple's cheapest products, but I actually think that it could go on to become one of their most important products. And the reason for this is that it takes Siri, Siri which you have in your iPhone or your iPad, and it frees Siri so that it's away from these devices where you have to go to the device and it frees Siri so that it's in your home. It's always around you, she, he, whatever. It's always around you and it's always there. What this really means is Apple is always around you, more entwined in your life and everything that you are doing. And of course that's great for the company, but if you have privacy concerns or concerns about relying on technology too much, this is going to be a big worry. But on the other side of things, it's only £99. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and press subscribe for more content you will love.